Hey everybody and welcome back to my ongoing series where I review online stores so that you can learn from their mistakes and their successes. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm reviewing Danny Gonzalez's store. Gonzalez is a famous YouTuber and it is here where he sells his custom t-shirts and hoodies. But yeah, spoiler alert, it's got some problems. In fact, as you'll discover, this store review is actually going to take some pretty hilarious and surprising twists and turns that you probably wouldn't have expected. And to be honest, this video is only kind of about Gonzalez. I actually ended up doing a bunch of research and watching several of his videos, and I actually really enjoyed several of them, including a video commentary on this viral YouTube video put up by Bobby Meisner, who basically bragged about how great it was to be the son of a billionaire while also trying to be relatable at the same time. Then there's this whole section called Stereotype. In this section he talks about how he's always hated how rich kids have this negative stigma where people assume that just because he's rich and he's inherited wealth that he's some spoiled brat and that's always been something that bothered him. Uh, and then he tells the story about how for his 18th birthday he played hooky from his elite private boarding school and went to the south of France to party. And that's how we beat that stereotype I guess. So this video isn't really about Gonzalez. It's actually about this company which set up his store and as I'll show you, they haven't just worked with him, they've worked with other YouTubers and I know that they made Curtis Connor's store. And well, on the surface, they seem great. I mean, seriously, when you see their company pitch, why wouldn't you want to work with them? After all, they claim to be a full service merchandise company and have over 70 people working for them and boast about working with big bands like Radiohead and Blink-182. How exciting, right? So let's put Sandbag to the test. Are they indeed a full service merchandise company? So to find Gonzalez's store, I initially came to his channel and as you can see, he's got over 3 million subscribers. So no matter what, I'm sure his merch will sell absolutely fine. <laughs> So you know, I came to one of his videos and checked out the video description, and of course, it had a link to a store. So I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, it's probably not gonna be very interesting, it's just going to be, what? What? What is that? What is that? What am I even looking at? You know, I really hope that my screen capture software is truly capturing this banner in all of its low-res glory, because that is one incredibly pixelated homepage banner if I've ever seen one. So we're not off to a good start from these e-commerce experts. But see, here's the thing. The truth is, design is subjective. And frankly, as we've discussed before on this channel, you can have a really ugly store and still make a lot of money if your marketing is good otherwise. And there's a possibility as well that this was a purposeful choice because it's funny, although if I were to take a guess, this to me looks like it was made uh, for a mobile site and they forgot to test it on desktop. Uh, but yeah, design is subjective. So when I do store reviews, pretty store design isn't my focus. Instead, what I'm much more interested in is whether the site is working correctly, whether it's legally compliant, and whether it's meeting its customer obligations, that sort of thing. And so the first thing that I usually do for a store review is open up a product page and see if it tells the customer important information that they would want to know before they buy. And so I clicked on this one and I was like, is this for real? This here was what I was greeted with. Now, let me ask you a question. Does this look like a product page that was created by a full service merchandise company? I think not. Now, quiz time. What is wrong with this page? What is deeply, deeply wrong with this page? Now, some of my long-term subscribers might be thinking, oh, I know. Sarah will be unimpressed that there is no product description unless you count black t-shirt with a front print as a product description. And while that could indeed be drastically improved, that is not it. Ah, you say it's the fact that this product picture can't even be zoomed in on, a basic feature consumers like to have before they buy, and there aren't even any images of people wearing it, so we don't even know how it looks like on actual humans. And while all of this would be an excellent idea for a full-service merchandise company to include on their product pages, this is not my biggest problem with it. So, let me ask you a question. This t-shirt comes in multiple sizes, X small, small, medium, large, even 3XL. This just a uh, one problem. What does any of that mean? Because as far as I can see, these options mean literally nothing at all. As a consumer, you literally have no idea what a small or a medium sized t-shirt is because there is no sizing chart here. Now, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people who straddle the line between medium and large depending on the t-shirt and the brand. 
the fact that this supposed full service merchandise company that has, according to them, a team comprising of industry experts didn't include a basic sizing chart is one of the laziest things I've ever seen. And so I checked it out and none of the other shirts in the store have them. Now obviously products like this don't need them, but this, this shirt here, how are you supposed to select the right size to look best on you without knowing what any of these options mean? And so I was like, there's no way, there's, there's no way that a full service merchandise company doesn't provide this in a store that they have created. I know, I know, it'll be in the FAQ section of the site, so I scroll down to the bottom in the footer and I saw a link to their help page there. Now, given how important this information is to the customer before they buy, you'd think that if they decided that they would hide this information in the FAQ section, that they'd at least make it a front page article, but nope, it's not here. You have to do a search for it. Luckily, when you do a search low, a link to the sizing chart does actually come up. Whatever, at least they have one, right? Right? <laughs> nope. Here is their sizing chart. Now, on the surface, this looks fine, right? There's just one problem. You see this t-shirt here? This specifically states that this is a unisex t-shirt. Now, guess what is missing from this sizing chart? If you guessed, unisex t-shirts, you would be correct. And unfortunately, for the store that they created, every single t-shirt in here is supposedly a unisex t-shirt. Did I find this article helpful? No, I did not find this helpful. It turns out that if you want to order a t-shirt from the site, that you have to guess the correct size. And what happens if you guess wrong? Well, it turns out it's your fault. Scrolling through their terms and conditions page, I found their return policy buried deep in here, and I discovered two interesting things. Firstly, they offer a 30-day return policy, no questions asked, which is honestly really generous. Most small stores are under no obligation to offer such a generous return policy. Of course, when you consider the fact that you have to guess the correct size of the product that you're buying, I'm sure a lot of people guess wrong and have to return it. And so that's when I also discovered that it's the obligation of the customer to return the product to them at their own expense. And so after a bit of investigating, I found inside their help section what their return addresses are, and lo and behold, they have two. One for the United Kingdom and one for the USA. So basically, as a fan of this channel living in New Zealand, if I decide to buy a t-shirt to support my favorite creator and I guess the wrong size, I'm screwed. I have to spend lots of money to ship it to my nearest country, which is the United States, and that is far from close, just to get my refund because I guessed wrong. All from a company that endeavors to put their customers first, always. Now there is a possibility that I somehow missed finding the correct sizing chart somewhere on this website, but either way, it shouldn't be up to the customer to have to hunt it out. One of the most basic things I teach in my e-commerce training program is to add sizing charts for clothing that is in multiple sizes inside the product page. And I checked out the store that they made for Curtis Connor, and yep, the product pages here don't have them either. And actually looking at this product page, it's really sad because I think that this t-shirt looks hilarious and amazing. But that's the thing, I only think that the t-shirt looks hilarious and amazing, since this t-shirt features tiny text that I can barely read since Sandbag didn't include the feature to, you know, zoom in on t-shirts. Now, some of my subscribers have probably also noticed that there's something else on this product page that I'm not too fond of, and that is that there is no information here about shipping. It's very important for the consumer to know when they can expect to receive their package, which is why I teach my students to make sure that they have very big disclaimers about shipping on their product pages, especially if it's a long shipping time. If it's longer than a week, then I strongly recommend everyone place a big disclaimer on the product page and either bold it or make the text bigger to draw attention to it. Obviously, there is no disclaimer on this product page, but I thought that's okay. A lot of stores instead include that information on the cart page, so maybe it's there. And oh boy, I did not expect to discover what I did from a company that endeavors to put its customers first. So sure enough, once I added this t-shirt to my cart, I found that there was a shipping calculator. And after putting in a California zip code, I saw that I had three options. Overnight, two-day or first-class shipping as the cheapest. And for those of you outside of the USA, first-class shipping refers to first-class USPS shipping, which is usually about three days. Okay, that's fine, but I wanted to be doubly sure. 
because hoodies are substantially heavier than t-shirts. What would the shipping options be for it? So I added it, I calculated the shipping, and I was again given one day and two day shipping, but this time I was given a third option, standard shipping. And when I saw this, I was like, there is no way, there is, there is no way. You see, USPS, which the store is clearly using for its shipping, does have another shipping option called standard shipping. It's what you would call their time available service. They try to deliver these packages within two to eight days, usually around five days. But when the postal service is busy, it can take up to two to three weeks for packages to be delivered. But this seems ridiculous because surely, if this is what they meant by this elusive standard shipping option, wouldn't they disclose that? They've noted that this shipping option takes one day and this one only takes two days, so wouldn't they just put one to three weeks next to this one too so that the consumer knew? But no, they didn't do that. Instead, this is just called standard shipping. So I was like, maybe I'm wrong, maybe this means something else, but at least according to their FAQ page, nope, it really is true. I found their help page that discussed estimated delivery times worldwide, and sure enough, as the USA isn't listed separately here, it falls under the rest of world category of five to 20 business days, i.e. one to four weeks. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think that you, as a customer, would appreciate having it disclosed to you that standard shipping, which is only $1.42 cheaper than the two-day option, could take an additional two to three weeks during busy shipping periods if you select it? I think you might. I think you might. Our fully managed service puts the customer first always. And here is another question. What is one of the busiest times of the year for the postal service? If you guessed Christmas, ding, 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 you guessed right. And you know what else the store sells? It sells Christmas merch. Now, to be fair, Gonzalez features the Nutcracker in the background of his videos year round. But let's also be honest. Given the fact that this is a Christmas character, I'm sure many people will choose to buy it and wear it as a Christmas themed shirt. Now, just imagine for a moment that you're a young teenager, you're a big fan of this channel, it's early December, and you think, you know what? I'm gonna buy one of each of these Nutcracker t-shirts for Christmas. I really want to support my favorite creator. This will be lots of fun to wear during the build up to Christmas. So you add one of each of these to the cart and calculate the shipping and see three options. Overnight, two day, and the elusive standard shipping. And you think, gee, I'm a teenager and I'm already kind of broke. And $90 for three t-shirts is already a lot for me. So, you know, I don't need my t-shirts immediately. I can wait a few days. I'll be smart, I'll save a little money. And so it's three weeks later and Christmas was yesterday and your package still hasn't arrived. And because they ship without tracking codes, you just assume that it never came. And so you're like, hey guys, I ordered three t-shirts for Christmas and my package never arrived. Can I have my money back? And they reply with, oh, you mean you didn't? Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the help button and then find the article that disclosed the shipping times and then see that the USA is not listed and falls under rest of world and can take five to 20 business days to arrive? Because that's what you were supposed to do. Thanks for your order, hope you have a great day. Our fully managed service puts the customer first, always. Believe it or not, one of the places that I get recognized the most in real life is actually at YouTuber events because a lot of YouTubers follow me to learn how they can create merch stores for their fans using print on demand. So for those YouTubers out there watching this video, I have a few pieces of advice. One, always include a sizing chart for things like t-shirts. Two, disclose and make your shipping times clear, especially if they're going to be longer than expected. And three, probably avoid this full service merchandise company. Thanks for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different from my usual videos, so let me know what you think. And as always, if you would like to learn even more about successfully setting up a store that not only makes sales, but also discloses important information to the customer that they probably want to know before they buy, then be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any of our videos.